Arranging one counter is easy, there's just one way. Arranging two counters, two ways. How about three counters? We can place the new counter at the start of the first arrangement, in the middle, or at the end. The same goes for the second arrangement. So there are three ways for each of the two arrangements, so that's six. Another way to see the same thing is to place the three counters one at a time. Yellow first, red first, or green first. For yellow first, we can have red or green next. For red first, we can have yellow or green next. And for green first, we can have yellow or red next. There's no choice for the last counter, so still six ways. How about four counters? Well, the blue counter could go at the start of the arrangement. This time there are two middle positions, or it could go at the end. And it could go in any of the six three counter arrangements, so that's 24 places. You could also think of having four spaces to fill. There are four choices for the first counter. It doesn't matter which we pick, so let's take blue. Then there are three choices for the second counter. Let's pick green. Two choices for the third. Let's pick yellow. Then we have to take red for the last counter. So that's four times three times two times one, or 24 ways, otherwise known as four factorial. In general, the number of arrangements of n distinct objects in a line is n factorial, or 1 times 2 times 3 times all the way up to n. So 1 factorial, that's 1, 2 counters in the line, 2 factorial, 2, th 3 counters, 3 factorial, 6, 4 factorial, 24, 5 factorial, 120, 6 factorial, 720, and so on. I think I'm going to need some more counters.